Hi, this is Manos Berlakis, and this is case 131 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case illustrating how things may not go well at the beginning of the case. The patient had a low ejection fraction and presented with heart failure. He did have moderate aortic stenosis and was referred for coronary angiography. Coronary angiography demonstrated an eccentric lesion in the mid-LAD, and there was also severe disease in the right coronary artery with a significant osteal stenosis. There was actually pressure dampening, as well as a severe 90% mid lesion in a vessel that had significant calcification. After discussion, it was decided to proceed with PCI of the right coronary artery, as well as the LAD. And we decided to start with the right coronary artery. This is a six French JR4 guide catheter, Sion Blue guide wire. And the initial plan was to balloon the proximal segment to minimize the dampening. We had difficulty wiring. But unfortunately, when a request was made for inflating the balloon at 10 atmospheres, what happened instead is that there was contrast injection into the vessel with the consequences we can see, essentially a big dissection going all the way from the proximal to the distal right coronary artery. So this is an example of an acute vessel closure complication, one of the three major categories of complications. And this is due to dissection. What to do when there is acute vessel closure? The first uh, step is to maintain wire position, but unfortunately, we did not have a wire position in that vessel because uh, we had only partial advancement of the wire that could not be advanced past the mid right coronary artery. The second is to determine the cause. We know that it's dissection in this case. And the third case is to provide sometimes hemodynamic support. Fortunately, in our patient, because he had a long-standing high-grade occlusion of the right coronary artery, there was no significant change on the EKG, no significant chest discomfort, likely because he had collateral flow from the left. So the cause here is injection with tab and pressure, something that should be avoided because it can have catastrophic consequences as shown in the previous angiogram. And the next step depends on whether we have wire in the vessel. In this case, we only had partial wiring. If not, the solution is to advance a wire through the dissection, confirm that the wire goes into the distal true lumen, and then place stents. If it doesn't work, then emergency surgery can be an option. Interestingly enough, after the dissection happened, it was very easy to advance the guide wire distally, but intravascular ultrasound demonstrated that we were in the subintimal position. Um, we can see that the true lumen is compressed at the side of the vessel, and the ivus catheter is in the subintimal position. When we go more proximal, that's where the vessel, um, the wire is actually within the true lumen. What to do for cases like this? One option in our case, since we did not have any EKG changes and we did not have any ST segment changes, would be to just to stop the case and bring the patient back after a month or two, allowing time for the dissection to heal. And that would have probably been a fine choice. The second way is to try to get a wire into the distal true lumen and sometimes CTO techniques, uh, dissection reentry, undergrade as well as the retrograde approach can be used to wire the distal true lumen. In this case, we decided to use uh, undergrade dissection reentry techniques. We advanced the second guide wire, which, as you can see, went very easily distally in the dissection plane, along with uh, a novel dual loom microcatheter, the recross microcatheter. And then we did attempts to re-enter into the true lumen using one of the two lumens of the recross while aspirating through the other lumen in order to try to um, re-expand the vestal distally that had been collapsed from a dissection. But unfortunately, we were unable to actually enter in the true lumen. We we're still in the subintimal space with a true lumen being compressed on the side of the vessel as shown by intravascular ultrasound. Again, a solution here would have been to just stop the case, but uh, we decided to, ge to do one more attempt by trying the retrograde approach since the patient had good collaterals. The patient also had a mid-LAD lesion, 
and before going retrograde through a tight lesion, it is important to treat it. Therefore, we stented the middle AD with a 3.0 by 18 millimeter stent and a nice result. And then we decided to try retrograde through the second septal collateral, which was um, had multiple connections to the BDA, which likely explained the patient's stability. We advanced the workhorse wire along with the Corsair XS microcaster that went easily into that second um, branch. And then did um, surfing of the second septal. Initially, we used a SUO or three guide wire, but this was unsuccessful. And then we used a CO black that sometimes actually works fairly well when there are multiple small and tortuous uh, septal connections. Surfing was done, the wire um, followed several directions that were not um, appropriate initially, but then eventually, uh, using a trial and error approach, the wire did find um, its uh, way through the septal collaterals, and uh, it did advance uh, uh, distally into the course of the right coronary artery. The wire actually easily advanced more proximally, and we initially made an attempt to get it into the undergrade uh, guide catheter, but then it looks like it's causing the subintimal space again. So eventually, we used a guide extension reverse card. This is a six friends guide extension. And then we were able to advance, after ballooning the mid RCA, we were able to advance the retrograde Sion Black guide wire into the undergrade guide extension. Following that, we trapped and externalized and predilated. We did a small puff, which showed that there was still persistent dissection. And that is why we decided to stand without affecting the distal bifurcation. We placed two 3.0 by 38 millimeter drag diluting stents all the way from the distal RCA to the ostium of the right coronary artery. But unfortunately, what we saw afterwards was persistent dissection. There's still subminimal dissection in the posterior lateral without undergrade flow. And the same is true into the PDA, which frankly surprised us because by going retrograde, we thought that we had secure distal true lumen wire position into the PDA. What we ended up doing is getting a polymer jacketed guide wire, Gladius Mongo, and then we did essentially debranching. We advanced the guide wire distally, both into the PDA as well as into the posterior lateral. We can see here that after doing that, the contrast that was present there um, drained. And that actually restored undergrade flow into those branches. We did not pre uh, place any more stents. Essentially, what we did is the STAR technique using a polymer jacketed guide wire. We also knuckled it and advanced it further down. And then we did uh, get a nice result in the end uh, with Timothy flow in both the posterior lateral and the posterior descending artery. There's still some dissection playing the distal RCA, which we decided not to treat. So there are several lessons from this case. The first one is to never inject if there is damp and pressure waveform because that can cause a significant dissection as happened in our patient. In this particular case, we were actually lucky because the patient had extensive collateral circulation to the PDA and he remained very stable without chest discomfort or EKG changes even though he had dissected the right coronary artery. However, in other patients who have less developed collateral circulation, this could be a catastrophic complication. If uh, um, there is a vessel dissection, then one way to get into the distal true lumen is to use CTO techniques. In our case, we tried both uh, undergrade dissection reentry as well as the retrograde approach. ADR was not successful because of a large hematoma formation, but the retrograde approach was successful even though when we play stents, it turns out that actually our stents were in the subintimal space. And uh, when that happens, using the STAR technique, advancing a polymer jacketed guide wire, into those branches that have persistent dissection can help restore undergrade T3 flow and salvage the case. Thank you.